Next day is the Narmada man. We always treat our woman not in a fair way. Without even knowing about uh, the sex of uh, this species, how we can name it as a man? It was named as a man for a long time until uh, Kenneth uh, Kennedy studied the morphology of the fossil and uh, he found that uh, this should be a uh, young adult girl. So, Narmada man in reality is not a man. Narmada man is a woman. She is a girl. One fantastic fossil was discovered in the Narmada river valley. Until then, throughout India, except the alluvial corridor and Kerala, lower paleolithic stone tools were found everywhere. We, have, we managed to discover the lower paleolithic tools, the tools made by Homo erectus. Lower Paleolithic tools, the most important Akulian hand axe. It's a very important tool complex of uh, Lower Paleolithic period. I hope you know. Correct? Right? This uh, teardrop shape, bifacially flake. The stone tool the stone tools are found in uh, most of the uh, prehistoric sites in our country most of the paleolithic sites in our country but we couldn't find any fossils of uh, the human beings who made these tools there was a breakthrough when uh, the geologist arun sonakia While walking here, he stepped on the skull of a Narmada man. What a great discovery it was. It was really a very great discovery. It turned out to be something a very important fossil find from India. But the parts discovered here, right, we couldn't get a complete uh, skull having the lower jaw and the upper jaw. Only the parts of, say, the uh, roof of uh, the cranium, lower part of uh, the little bit lower part of the cranium, then some part of uh, the orbits. These are only discovered. I'll show you the fossil discovered. So that is a reconstructed one. Only this part, right? That part is not the white one. No, is a reconstructed one. Only a part of only a part of the left side of the cranium was uh, discovered, along with a uh, uh, few bones. Even the upper jaw and lower jaw is totally not found here. It's totally not found in the fossil. So this portion, right? We call it as a calvaria. Calvaria means it's a roof of the cranium. Roof of the cranium. Guys, now you should be comfortable with the term cranium. So this is a cranium. Cranium is the bone which covers the brain. Correct? It envelops the brain. So cranium is made up of a number of bones like there are close around 8 bones here which makes the cranium. The frontal bone, the parietals, the occipital, the temporal, you have sphenoid bone here. Ethmoid bone no, inside the, the nasal cavity. But if in evolutionary perspective, both the sphenoid bone, there are two, one here, one here. The sphenoid bone and the ethmoid bone and even the temporal bone that is of little significance. 
that's why we kept discussing only about the frontal the parietal the occipital and to some extent the temporal bone got it so the roof of the cranium is called as calvaria so we have many we arun sona have managed to discover the roof of the brain which roof of the cranium which you call it as calvaria so uh, then the geological survey of india they did an elaborate dating and they managed to find or establish the period during which this man survived he lived roughly between 6 lakh years to 5 lakh years ago we know that uh, homo erectus lived between 1 million to 0 0.12 million years that is 10 lakh to 1 lakh 20,000 years ago somewhere in the middle of for the homo erectus you can place comfortably and there is no scope for uh, homo sapiens to live now but uh, there is some controversy not controversy some unusual features found in uh, the homo erectus fossil that is the cranial capacity of uh, remember it is a geological survey of india who named him as the narmada man okay later this fossil was uh, studied by see until now we just uh, managed to find geological survey of india managed to establish that this fossil is uh, 6 lakhs to 5 lakh years old so comfortably they named it as a homo erectus narmada man narmada man is a Narmada man was a homo erectus. But we managed to find only a one fossil from India. In Indonesia, in uh, China, we managed to find the subsequent more number of fossils which were analyzed and studied by a number of anthropologists but in india we managed to find only one calvaria without even we couldn't even find a lower jaw or an upper jaw mandible or maxilla so later few americans but as the time but as the time suggests very clearly we can correlate this with homo erectus yes this should be a homo erectus fossil then few american anthropologists like uh, sorry first french investigator mary d lamley a very fantastic uh, doctor Shortly, we can call her as uh, uh, D. Lumley. So, Lumley studied the fossil and uh, uh, she managed to establish that uh, uh, this cal the, there are few features in this calvaria which are something unusual when compared to uh, the same Homo erectus fossils discovered in uh, the other parts of Asia, in Indonesia and in China. The cranial capacity, this is something very important about Narmada man. According to Loomley, right, this ranges somewhere between 
but D. Lumley right off, she pointed out that uh, um, Narmada man may not be a homo erectus, he may be an evolved homo erectus or he may be a homo sapien because anatomically he nears to the top homo sapien. But six lakh years back, where we had where we had Homo sapiens, even Neanderthals couldn't manage to, uh, or Neanderthals didn't make their presence during this period. Then later, American investigator Kenneth A. R. Kennedy. Okay, uh, he broadened uh, Loomley's observation after extensive examination of the Calvaria using uh, measurements, morphological analysis, after all these things, right, he also helps, uh, he also concludes with the same opinion that this is an evolved or an early Homo sapiens. Along with this, Kennedy, through the morphological study, he managed to find that Narmada man is actually not a man, but it is an young adult female. So remember, Narmada man is not a man, but he is a young adult female. So as the age suggests, it is a more like, uh, it, it is more or less homo erectus. D. Lumley says that it is an evolved homo erectus and Kennedy says that it is an early homo sapien. Early Homo sapiens. So it is a controversial. We managed to find one skull, but that skull itself is something very much a controversial one. Fine. So guys, now you should be comfortable with the uh, most of the apes. If you have any doubts, please try to contact me. So we'll be in a position to uh, explain it again. Okay.